What is the worst gift you have ever received for your birthday? My uncle and aunt gave me a broken toy car when I was like 5. They let my cousin play with it before it was my birthday and he broke it. Okay, that's just tacky. An anti-aging cream. Would be cool if I wasn't 9 years old. Opened it and it was obvious it was used before. Also had a hair in it. Mom put it in trash immediately. Who was it from? A friend from school. Same year as me. These are not so bad, but I remember them because they made me confused. When I was 10 my grandma gave me a plain white towel. I wasn't good at hiding my disappointment, so my mom made me apologize and pretend that I loved it. There was no way that I could tell it apart from all the other plain white towels we had. One birthday my mom gave me two dresses without a receipt. One was size XL. One was size XS. My size is M. I didn't ask her what she was thinking. She bought the XL by accident then got the excess to average it out. How many shots does it take for a statistician to kill a deer? 2. One that misses 3 feet to the left. And another that misses 3 feet to the right. One year my uncle got me batteries. With a note that said toy not included. Another year he wrote I owe you on a piece of paper. Sucks is a birthday present. But hilarious joke. He cold given something else too. An IOU can be extremely valuable. But from the sounds of it not much from your uncle. A keychain in the shape of Texas with the name and phone number of a random traffic lawyer. I've never been to Texas or expressed interest in the state. And I didn't know the lawyer. Holy shit. Was it Jamadla? The Texas hammer? Finally. I get to share one of the most frustrating memories to date. Conflict. Vietnam on the classic Xbox console. The game itself is not the problem. Receiving it was. I have this sister. A totally self-righteous woman who decides the morals for everyone in the family. Since I was 17 and the game was rated M. Which meant it was an R-rated game in her book. It was determined I could open the gift. But I could not keep it. Despite. You know. Me being old enough to buy an M-rated game. Or see an R-rated movie on my own. So. I opened the game. One I wanted. And then I'm told by my own mother we are going to have to return it. My mother. Bless her heart. Wanted me to still have things to open on my birthday. And it seemed like a good compromise. Since we all win. Apostrophe. I'm 33 tomorrow. So who knows. Maybe my gifts tomorrow will be the worst. Question mark. I asked for absolutely nothing. BTW. Edit. I knew holding on to this pain would one day pay out. I really feel like I should let my sister know she's the reason behind my highest rated comment ever. You'll truly made this day more special to me. Happy early birthday. Late December birthdays always get shafted in the gift department anyway. I never expect anything anymore. My birthday's on the 19th so, while it's before Christmas it's still bad. Because people are always doing Christmas stuff then. And I gotta tell you. Make. A. Big. Deal. Out. Of. Your. Birthday. Exclamation mark. I wrote it on every piece of paper with a date on it that I could both at work and home. I 100% didn't expect anything from my coworkers, but by making a big deal out of it, I still get lots of people acknowledging my birthday and that's almost as good as presents. Last birthday I lived with my family they all went out to eat without me lol. That's sad. Did you end up doing anything you enjoyed instead? Got all the locks changed while they were out. It's my house now. My whole mill gave me her used bathrobe. I don't know how one could possibly say duck I am more eloquently without words than that. Still stuns me 20 plus years later. Oh. I'm so sorry. That is vile. She's a horrible human being and I despise her. She also gave my bill who golfed a bunch of chip dirty used golf tees she had walked around and picked up off the local public golf course in a sandwich baggie as a Christmas present and the things she gives her only grandchild. She just really likes making people feel like shit. She's not poor or anything. I was buying $5 CD I wanted on my day. My now ex said he hadn't gotten me a gift yet. So he said he'd just buy it for my gift. About a week later I was buying groceries. And a $5 bill was in my change and he is it eyeing it. He tells me hey, you never paid me back for the CD I got you for your birthday. So, I gave him the money for it. 
I can see why has your ex. My dad's side of the family used to give my siblings and me entire Costco sized packs of corn muffin mix for our birthday slash Christmas. Always corn muffin. Never any other kind. Like. We would unwrap the present, and it would be 10 boxes of corn muffin mix. I can't offer you more context, because there literally isn't any. It was always a mystery. My parents used to fight about it lol. A box of chocolates was some eaten from the box, my aunt thought they were for the house. But the person gifting it gave them to me anyway. Same birthday, my mother gave me a file folder with pictures she cut out of a catalog with notes. Like I know you like these. Maybe one day you'll get them. Bizarre. To say the very least. Got chocolate covered almonds one Christmas from my mom. The next day I noticed she ate them leaving too. When confronted with it, she blamed my dog. Yes my dog got the box from the middle of the table. Opened the box. Ate all but two. And replaced the lid. And put the box back. Man. She cold vat least leave the almonds. A birthday cake. That I was then asked to pay for. I don't eat cake. What happened to the cake? My then girlfriend and the couple that brought the cake ate it. I drank another GL butt of wine and contemplated whether this birthday was worse than the one I spent alone in an airport. My husband died and due to the logistics of everything, his funeral was on my birthday. Pretty crappy present to say the least. Not really a gift per se. All I asked for was that my mom and sister not antagonize one another during my birthday dinner over something stupid. I wound up leaving for an hour before either of them noticed I'd left. I got a box of cereal from my mother, all gift wrapped and with a bow. My girlfriend was having dinner with us and my mother gave it to me just as we were finishing dinner. My girlfriend was so confused. I had to later explain to her that it was just my mother's way of humiliating me. Because that's what she likes to do. Edit. A few years later. My parents gave me a handheld stainless steel urinal. I was visibly confused. So they both ridiculed me for not understanding the joke. Still confused. I asked them to explain the joke. They didn't. And continued to tell me how stupid I was for not understanding just how funny the joke was. It's them. They're the joke. Nothing. No card. No gift. Not even a happy birthday. My mom asked me a few days later what I had been up to. I said oh. Nothing much. Just turned 30 on the 7th. Never seen her get so quiet. My girlfriend forgot my 30th. Because she got confused on what day it was. She asked me to help her with yard work. Then I cooked her dinner and she picked a movie. Before realizing it was birthday at about 11pm. I told her it was the best present she ever got me. Since now when we have to do yard work I can act all surprised and tell her it's not my birthday yet. My ex never got the day right. But thankfully he was always early. It actually was hilarious walking up on the 4th to happy birthday my love. Telling him thanks. But that would be on the 6th. And seeing the panic in his face because he had gotten everything ready. Even a cake. Last year for Christmas I got a half eaten meat basket from my in-laws. The summer sausage was cut in half and wrapped with plastic wrap and the cheese spread had been opened. In what world does this seem okay or even occur as a thought? This year my bill and I got a light bulb as a gift because they got some wholesale. We got other things but that was one of them. My boyfriend broke up with me when I started crying and mentioned how it was a shitty gift he said oh shit. I forgot it's your birthday. Apostrophe. Must have sucked at the time. But you dodged a bullet with that one. Oh definitely. When I was a kid my dad gave me the money I got for Christmas on my birthday. Christmas. I got money. Birthday. I was allowed to spend it. WTF. I'm giving you a present. But you're not allowed to use it until later. I was confused to- Christmas. Here's 50 bucks. It'll hold on to it. Birthday. All right here we are at Barnes and Noble. Here's 50 bucks to spend. I was 14 I'm not dumb. A day at an amusement park where my father explicitly went out of his way to make it excruciatingly clear that we were not there for my birthday. I was 8. My brother's family were gifted season passes to Knott's by my dad one Christmas. 10 people. Kids plus parents. I got a $20 Amazon card. I'm so confused about who this gift came from. Your parents? Who are the 10 people? Your brother? 
his spouse and their eight kids. I got a tube sock filled with nickels and hard candy from a purse. I'm equally scared and confused by this. It was used to beat the last kid. My uncle gave me his box live points card for my birthday. When I went to redeem it, it said card not activated. This happened two years in a row until my mom told him about it. Unc thought he got it on a five finger discount. I got laid off. My 21st birthday fell on a Friday and I was working on a temporary contract job at the time. We had a conference call in the middle of the week telling us that the contract was ending early and Friday would be the last day. <laughs> a shirt that was an excess while I at 14 was obviously an XL and from the same as shat. A cassette tape that didn't work. I was too oblivious to understand at the time it was intentional and mean and I politely thanked them as they laughed in my face. Uck. Wish I could go back and change my response. I was pretty oblivious growing up when people would bully me. I replayed so many situations like this in my head and wished I could change my response. At the end of the day, acting like you truly don't see what fear doing takes out the satisfaction for them. Same. Looking back on my childhood, a lot of the adults in my life were straight up assholes. I had to pay the bar tab after celebrating my birthday. Everyone else dipped. Had that happen on my 19th birthday, Canadian legal drinking age. I was lucky I had the cash on me because it was the end of the night, so most people already bailed. Don't know what would have happened if I didn't pay it. The year my husband invited friends over for my birthday, so I got to make my own birthday cake, along with dinner for 8 people, and received no gifts. Who the duck shows up to a birthday party and thinks, ain't no big deal, if I walk an empty handed. Not like they are expecting me to have any basic decency of preparing a gift, I think this would be fine, if husband was the one making the cake and dinner. He hosts a dinner and everyone socializes, celebrates opus. He's the one who ducked up here, presumably. The friends thought husband was hosting not making up do it. Lots of adults that I know don't get each other gifts for their birthday outside of romantic partners. On her 21st birthday, my sister received a very nice handgun from our dad, Murica. I liked guns a lot, so I was excited when my 21st birthday came around. Y'all. My dad gave me two pair of pleat front carcass. The kind that make you look like you're wearing a diaper under them. To top it off. They were a size too small. Sometimes it's very obvious who the favorite child is. Both of my parents have a different favorite child and I'm neither of them. I have a few. I was taken to a steak house for my birthday one year. They all knew I was a vegetarian. But my family all wanted steak. I had complimentary bread and coleslaw for my birthday that year. I planned a big party when I was 16. Almost everyone I invited said yes. Then no one showed up. An ex-BF and I had planned a weekend jet away for my 30th at a fancy hotel. We were supposed to meet there. He never showed. He claimed he'd been called into work. But I think he was cheating on me. I ended up getting sick. Food poisoning maybe. Had to beg the front desk to bring me some bread in the middle of the night. I checked out at dawn to drive myself two hours to home. I loved celebrating my birthday as a kid, but now I actively ignore it. I was an overweight teen and my aunt got me a scale for my 15th birthday. Something similar happened to me for my 9th birthday. My morbidly obese grandmother bought me a bunch of clothes too small for me and said I could have them when I lost the weight I needed to return the favor gift card to a game store that went out of business two days before my birthday. That seems like the type of joke gift an uncle would give. It was bought a few weeks before they told me. The store closing was just bad timing. My grandma told me my gift was that she was going to quit smoking. For my 13th day. Had it been true it would have been great. But she gave this gift to me many times already. So every year she told you that for your birthday? Kinda sad yet funny at the same time. Did you ever say anything to her about it? No that was the first time it was a birthday gift. She would gift that to me many times through the years though. But it wasn't really a gift. She'd have me do the dishes. Or take out the garbage to earn her gift. She knew how much I hated her smoking. She smoked two packs a day in the house. She would quit for maybe a week or two. 
then go right back to it. We don't speak anymore, but I bet she's still smoking like that. Finding out that my extended family was well aware my whole life of the abuse I suffered, but felt that it wasn't their place to interfere in private family business. That was the beginning of the end of my relationship with my aunts, uncles, and cousins. I had just worked off the baby weight and was finally down to a small again. My mom, who loves to take digs at my weight, bought me a bunch of tent like drape wire clothes in large. An illegal turtle. And I mean literally just a turtle. He said, open your hands, and then dropped a tiny turtle into my hands. I had to buy a tank and food and a heating lamp. It cost quite a bit. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos.